Yummy, yummy, no, who are walking now? No, I'm not in a night, and I cannot live with him. Tell me where it's a gun and young and yankee. Not do sympathy, not do gun and young tongue. In plenty, not the one of the money, not good knee. Gun at Yachina. Night treating in the air, yakin on the air. Nothing. I'm going to translate what I just said. Teaches children. How are you? My name is Talia Williams, third born female. I'm a proud Ghana Naranga woman. We recognise that we are meeting on the Ghana land and on behalf of the Ghana people I welcome you to Ghana country. My dear brothers and sisters, see you again. We are students from Salisbury North in Adelaide, South Australia. We are diverse we are a diverse country, Nanjani Narongo, Adnamadna, Ghana and Alawai. Next, we build the classrooms in the formation of a yarning circle. The reason we followed the format of a yarning circle is to allow the classrooms to come together as one. I created these seating arrangements so people could feel comfortable and take part in their learning with their friends. Hi, my name is Teresa. Me and Tashay are both done the greenhouse and I was also involved doing the farm. The reason behind the greenhouse is for all the students to grow their own food and provide food to our families and communities. The greenhouse keeping in line with all our answer, old ancestors and how they looked after our land, we have decided to plant seedlings in our greenhouse, which we will then use that excess shots to replant more seedlings out in our school community. We need to make sure that we incorporate this into practices as we need to reuse and regenerate all our irreplaceable resources as we want to have a healthy country where these resources can contribute to the healthy process of our land. Hi, my name is Bill. I created the cultural burning and the fire station with Matt. For tens of thousands of years, Australia's Aboriginal people have managed environments with fire, using fire sticks to light carefully timed burns in the right places at the time of season. The traditional practice is what we decided to build outside of our school community. We believe it brings everyone together to look after country and share experiences. We built this as we want to revive the land as a cultural burning provides opportunities to create new land. And the importance of using fire to heal country. We want to make sure we use the controlled cultural burning for specific weeds that grow in our school will allow us to make informed decisions about managing invasive weeds. As a proud Nunga students of the school have made friends with the local fire station so they can come and educate all students and community members to learn all about the importance of fire control and cultural burning allowing educational pathways into the fire-fighting communities. My name is Matthew Dedeke. I was a part of the culture burning and fire station. The purpose of this tool was to make aware of the burning not affecting the surrounding environment. I also worked on the classrooms to ensure the children had a place to learn and progress to be successful. This also needed car parks and a farm barn, and also went around naming villages as teachers to give it the real S907 experience. Hi, my name is Scott and I created the relaxation room. I created this room for people that are mad or upset. It's hard to concentrate on your work if you're in this mood. You can take your work in the room. Hi, I'm Deacon. In Southburn North, I'm a seven. I built the gym with my chante. I also built a post office for school notes um, for to sort out each classes. The gym I built was so that we can do exercise um, every day to get um, everyone fit. Um, this, the post office is um, for school notes, so if you go into it, um, you see that there's a desk and some chairs to, um, for the staff members to um, help out with the school notes. Um, I um, did my best to do it. We both also built the, a class to benefit kids that have special needs. 
so that every kid has a right to have an education. Hi, my name is Conrad and today I want to show you my Nunga library, Nunga room and my music room. I built the music room so that everybody can get along and I also made the Nunga room so all the Nunga students can learn more about Nunga language and also mm -hmm. made the library so people can read and learn. Hi, my name is Sophia and I did the office with Kayama. Hi, my name is Kayama and me, Sophia and Kaya all worked on the office. The reason for the office is to help people when they are sick or they just need or they just want to talk to someone. I also built the tech room for people to finish their tech work and to play games with friends. Oh. Hi, my name is Kyle and I helped Kyla and Sophia build the office and I guess I had fun since I was playing Minecraft. We're back in the office and I just wanted to explain the flags. The top flag is the Aboriginal flag for all of the Aboriginal kids and the bottom flag is the Torres Strait Islander flag for all of the Torres Strait Islander kids that are here as well. We have decided to build an area for the turtles to prevent them from extinction. Turtles make, um, make it from the nest to the ocean. All animals are here are used for multiple purposes where all students will be educated on animals. Life cycles, behaviours, biology. The purpose of keeping the sheep is to reduce the use of lawn mowers and whippersnippers. The sheep eats the grass, therefore keeping the grass area low. We are keeping our outdoor lawn Area of the purpose of the chickens are to collect the eggs to cook and eat within our school community. Hey, my name is Alan. I, I made the farming room as well as the bushwhacker garden and the staff room. Hello, my name is Caden. And in Minecraft, I built four handball courts, a playground, a basketball court, and a pool. These things are here so that the kids can make new friends and keep active and stay healthy. The plants under the playground are there for the animals so they can grow food for the animals in our school. Each part of our school has a special sign with Ghana language on it since we are on the Ghana land. As Dudley Nunga students of Salisbury North, we are proud for this opportunity to showcase our vision of what our school will look like in the future. We as students have followed in our ancestors' footsteps, allowing us to create our own footprints for the future generations to come. This will allow them to create their own ways to ensure the health of our country is ongoing. Together, Together we, we will heal our country. country.